Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at the new 2023 Polygon Siskiyou T7e. I'm not going to bore you with the big unboxing ceremony. Uh, bikes online always pack the bikes well, so we'll just have a look at what comes in the carton. Righto, so the fork is well padded, the front wheel is padded against the frame, Inside the kit boxes we have pedals, charger, different cords and cables, uh, some basic tools and instructions. Here we are 10 minutes later with the uh, wrapping removed and the front wheel attached. There's two things I want to just mention. The first is the really cool Q-lock front axle. Uh, I think that's a patented Suntour axle. But it's really groovy, you just push it in and uh, it snaps into place and you flip the lever over. Uh, yeah, really funky. The other thing is how the wires attach to the Shimano head unit. I was quite surprised there are no instructions on the web, there were no instructions with the bike. And it's only by pure chance after about four hours, as crazy as that sounds, that I worked out where these two wires go. The first thing you need to do is stop trying to make sense of the wires going into this screw hole or onto this apparent male terminal. Where they actually go is into these hidden holes along these cylindrical bumps on the inside. They're hidden because the thing is pre-mounted on the handlebars. So unless you accidentally tilt the bike on the right angle, you won't actually see them. So, armed with this special envelope that says warning cancer and reproductive harm, which obviously means this is a Shimano tool for fitting the wiring, you can now install those wires in the hole. Again, I won't uh, bore you with a whole bunch of spec and tech that you can find elsewhere. Instead, we'll just have a quick look at the bike. This is the first e-bike I've owned. However, I did ride a 2020 Specialized Turbo Levo Comp for a day just before COVID. It was actually that experience that convinced me not to get an e-bike yet, that the e-bike technology still had lots of room to improve. Instead, I bought a Polygon Siskiyou T8, which is the acoustic version of this new e-bike. I've been very happy with the T8, particularly the frame build quality, which is half the reason I chose the T7e as my first e-bike. The other half of the reason is that the T7e runs the new second generation Shimano EP801 motor. Now, from all accounts, it's reportedly quieter and stronger, and Shimano have solved the clunky back pedal issue inherent with the Gen 1 motor. Pre-ride and on paper at least, all of this makes the T7e a pretty good uh, value piece of kit. So this model was only released in Australia about two weeks ago, so this is one of the first that you'll see out in the wild. Um, I'm based in sunny Rockhampton in central Queensland and this weekend I'm going to give it a pretty fair hiding through the trails at First Turkey, our local mountain bike reserve. Uh, it's Friday now and I've just finished putting it together. Hopefully I'll get enough charge in it tonight to have a quick ride around the streets just to get familiar with the uh, controls. Then tomorrow, at the crack of dawn, I'll head up to the trails to help out as a sweep rider. We just happen to have an enduro race on tomorrow. And after that's done, I'll come home, review it, tweak some settings, change anything I don't like. And then on Sunday, there's a group social ride. I'll head up to First Turkey again. So this will be one solid weekend, and the Siskiyou will get hammered. Uh, so hopefully I'll have a heap of fun, and you'll find some useful info as well. I'll keep this introductory video short, and uh, we'll leave it at that, and I'll see you on the trails in part two. Okay, bye.